what is like the most unexpected thing you've heard or you've said on air? And she picks up the phone and she's like, Chetan has just left for work, so I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. Oh. Oh, oh my God. If you had to swap your life with any RJ in the UAE, whom would it be and why? What's one phrase that you like to say in general that you just can't say on air? Just do what you want to do. Just do what you need to do. Let nobody stop you because you know what? It's really not worth it. Boom, boom, boom. Today, today, today. Today we have... Wait, let me describe you. This is what I know about you. Our guest today is a RJ. She is a content creator. She is a singer. And the rest I'd like to know from the guest itself. Amazing. 100 points to Gryffindor. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all I do. That's, yeah, that's all exactly. that's on social media. So it wasn't like me running out of ideas or like running out of Good what stuff. you do. That was all of it, right? You but, did some research, man. Yeah. On Instagram. It takes See? me like two minutes to get to know. I know. I mean, so right. <laughs> all served in like a minute, right? Yeah, like 1,926 posts. It's cool. Give me the top 100 and I'll know what you're about. Yeah, so this is this is what I do. I'm paid to talk. That's fucking killer, man. That's amazing. She's a RJ at City1016. Yes, good oh, job. You're hired. Fresh with the you know, uh, Rolex like and Rolex. You want to start as my producer? Maybe. Oh, wow. These offers are... Freaking killing <laughs> me, bro. So, no, Raghav, right? Huh. Knows all the station ka numbers. And I, for some reason, don't know any station ka numbers. For now, we'll beep the rest of them and keep this. Just so the okay. contract is okay for me. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh my God. God. Okay, I cool, get into cool. that. We gotta edit some things. Listen, I, this, is, this is probably my fourth radio station. I mean, imagine how really? I can probably yeah. get the numbers wrong when I go on air, right? Because they frequencies. Like, you obviously oh. take the frequencies name here. Yeah. Uh, and that's the identity of the radio station. But not once. I mean, <laughs> touch wood. Uh, Got it locked okay. in. Yes. Yeah. I'm going right, keep that it. going. We have some... Uh, like activity prepared for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, are you ready for it? Yeah, Ronald, sure. Are you ready for it? Physical? Because I've already had like a beautiful no, man, run. No, we're just gonna sit and chill. Okay, nice. What's that? Like, huh? What is it? The yeah. activity is we're gonna be telling you five RJ names mm -hmm. and you're gonna be ranking them. Okay, Not one to fair. five. No, oh, without fair. knowing who's coming. Without next. knowing who's coming next. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. It's so a list. Oh, okay. It's a one to five list. But don't do that, yeah. Come on, yeah. It has to be. It'll be fun. It'll hey, be they're fun. all my It'll friends. Oh, don't don't air it like. No, don't, don't air, air it. it. It's going on air. It's, it's going, going on visually air. on air. It is going. Okay, chalo. Like it's fine. Like uh, huh. no hard feelings, but that's what she actually means. Okay, so first one is uh, R J Mansi. Mm, one to five. One where to you, five. Okay. Where would you like to place her? Five. Five. Okay. R J DJ Abhijit. A B H I J W E T. Why didn't you tell me Maybe like okay? Why you don't this know is the why I didn't tell you. Oh, this is why I didn't tell you, man. Ah, good one. Hmm. I'd give him a four. Four? Four? Are you hacking right now? Are you, you going like five, four, three, two, one? No, I mean I'm just going by the names that you're throwing at me because I don't know who are the rest of them to actually. So it it wouldn't be fair. It's not it going to be a fair, fair that, thing. That's the whole point, right? But you're you're telling me the names later on. No, you oh, should tell me the all the names there, and then yeah, I'll give you a fair judgment. There. Okay, chalo, So chalo, it's chalo. it's basically not fair. So Mansi, no, no, no hard that, feelings, really. No hard feelings. I love you. Anyone, but you're still in the top five, whoever it is, right? Yeah. Think about that. Let's see. Okay, uh, RJ Vikrant. Honestly, I haven't heard him enough, but I'm going to put him obviously on number three. Who would you like to replace him with if you could? Replace? Yeah, yeah. like from, like if I give you the option. Not so, yet. To swap? So, not yeah. yet, not yet. Okay, till the end, till the we'll end. Swap tell me, later. tell me, we'll tell me later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. <clears throat> RJ Himanshu. Himanshu, ideally number three. And then Vikrant. What's your actual answer right now from this <laughs> list? Give me a top one. What's your what's it's your two. next number? What's my next one? That I'll tell you later. So so your already. options are either one or two. One or two. Do you rank him like Himanshu? Either you rank him one or two. Two. Then Parikshit. first. Parikshit. Of course, number one. Oh. Wow. Of okay. course, okay. number so one. Now, now, now rearrange it. Now, now rearrange. if you had to rearrange okay, these uh, names, rearrange, what would I would you put Abhijit do? on the bottom, uh, okay. according to me. Himanshu four, Mansi three, second is Vikrant and uh, Parikshit. I'm just going by a little bit of experience, a little bit yeah, of yeah. what I your know from the industry. Understanding of your own profession, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, this is this is a very subjective thing, right? Yeah. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. radio right now is is a lot about passive listening, and all of us do listen to each other quite a bit. But 
I'm guys, a loyal Siri one zero one. You guys listen to each other for market research purposes, or we like, did. It, I mean, I can't deny. Of course, yeah. we did. We need to like kind of, you know, no, take know a look at the competition and know yeah. what is happening out there, and yeah. just so that we keep a tap on them. We've done all of that, and that happens usually at a stage when you're starting with somebody. Like when I started with City, I wanted to know, like, what my competitor at another station would ideally be doing at this time, just so that I could get an idea. Wow. So I want to know, like, what is like the most unexpected things that you've heard on air? Like, you know, you've heard or you've said on air? I've said on air. Oh yeah, definitely. Like my blunders are like I'm going to write a book about it. Oh, please <laughs> tell me some of your yeah, blunders. Yeah, what are RJ blunders? So um, I don't know how to explain this to you, but I I used to be a Malayalam RJ, right? A Malayali RJ. Uh, that was my first job at oh, Radio okay. Me, hundred point three. It was a long time ago. Uh, that radio shut down but um, while i was working there and i've said this before i don't know some podcast some interview that i had a celebrity singer i wish her a happy birthday and i was with two other co jocks with me the guys and then baat karte karte we kept the phone before keeping or something i said uh, and she sang a song okay and i don't know that good malayalam at that point like i just okay. moved from although i moved from kerala to dubai i spoke a little bit of hindi english malayalam but not like i wanted to use like a great word like yeah. something which was like a jargon and nobody would expect that out of my mouth so i said oh after listening to your song hum to um you know like ado logam mein ho gaye matlab ado logam basically means underworld <laughs> what i wanted to say was swarg log Oh like I wanted to go to like I felt like I'm in heaven when I heard her voice oh, and you went these to the guys I'm like full gangster yeah. and then these guys started you know they started laughing and they're like what the hell did you just say do you do you know what she said I'm like what 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 did I what did I do this is my third day on on the job wow. <laughs> this is my wow. third day on the job I and it was like So you can't really do anything. And uh, her name is Sujata, the singer. She's very famous, and she kept the phone. I have no idea. Probably she Did didn't you even speak hear to her it. After? No, no, I haven't. That's it, right? Like. That was it. <laughs> and something that happened, like otherwise with my listeners, yeah, like there are these prank calls we used to do um, a long oh. time ago. I, I don't think people Why do that anymore. Why are they allowed anymore? It's I feel like sometimes calls. what happens is it's the sensitivity. It could be about. cultural issues yeah. it could get into like the wrong path and it's a very thin line right do you think that dubai is like so like vastly ethnic that you know you can't do a prank call cuz you might offend anyone no we did this is what i'm talking about so 2014 did. uh we did prank calls on the breakfast show and we used to give them like cake delivered to their oh. homes and i remember once i called this person it was a landline number and this lady picks up and as soon as she picks the call again a malayalam radio station had so many stories from the station <laughs> like this was such an edgy so, thing to do she she up. picks up the phone and she's like listen cheta is not there at home i'll call you back oh she had yeah. no clue that her own husband had plan this prank on on the anniversary so basically it was their anniversary that day yeah. and they wanted to prank like her the wife yeah and she picks up the phone and she's like chetan has just left for work so uh, i'll call you back later i'll call you back later oh oh my god Dude, like these are some epic Dude, stories. Crazy, I'm gonna take to man. my grave. So, did you acknowledge that on air? Like, of course we. I mean, like, it's all what? live. We can't really dump the call at that point. It's all oh. gone on air, and we're just like dumbstruck, and we're just like, what do we do? Oh. So that's what it okay. is. So you are entertained. We are entertained. That's it. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. They planned it. The husband and wife. Hey, no How man. I don't like think that. anybody oh. would want it's, to kind of. Project that image. Project that image about yeah. themselves when the name is out, or maybe not. I don't know. You never know. You never know. That's the thing about That's radio. I mean, That's the thing. Like, like, if you go, on, if you go on, like what if and buts and stuff, yeah. like you can end up at anywhere, bro. Like, Man, yeah. I love radio for that, <laughs> and especially those golden times. I'm talking about 10, 15 years ago. Those were the times when people were. a lot more loyal even before like social media existed right yeah i'm that old <laughs> so um i'm talking about a time when you didn't have like you had awkward probably yeah but people weren't addicted to it you had no reels to go back to yeah, the only thing that you heard and there were no podcasts there were no um b talks and all of that on air they they loved entertainment they loved listening radio to it was us. the easiest source of entertainment the first right, medium right. for sure for sure yeah. yeah okay if you had to swap your life with any rj in oh. the uae whom would it be and in the why? uae in the uae yeah 
Or, you might just end up saying someone I have never heard of. So, but like for what purpose? Aega. I don't That's know. That's on you. However, you. Take I wanted to like when I was working for another radio station. I definitely wanted to swap myself with somebody at <laughs> right RN. now. Right now. Right now, I think not UAE, but I could think of another country, another place where I really don't know how things work there. For example, like imagine I'm an RJ at Antarctica. Like, what would the weather report be? You know what the weather is about. That's the only thing that you're going to know what the <laughs> weather report is. I know, it's right? Crazy. I mean, we say 35 degrees Celsius. It's super hot. What do you say? Minus 35? Every it's day. cold today. It's colder tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right? it's like uh, minus 20 more. Plus, yeah. plus, minus, plus, minus. Plus, minus. <laughs> what mathematical yeah. calculations will I be doing? Get like a penguin to interview? Like, I don't know. Like, oh my God, just imagine, bro. Wow. Happy feet this shit out of that. It's not really it? like a, it's a populated area, right? Yeah, how many people will be listening to it? Do I don't you think? know, man. Hardly nothing. Like once yeah. I know the temperature, I'll just be like, okay, cool, next. Like, or which hairy map? Yeah. Okay, so so you're an RJ, right? Hmm. Like, what I'm if someone sure. else? Huh? What? Like, what? Sure? what? 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 <laughs> Are you an RJ? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. It's yeah. been eleven years now. Mm. I should be sure by now. Okay. So, if someone new had to enter the industry, what is something like super out there, like an advice that mm. is not generic that only you're going to give someone coming in? You know, honestly, I'm not. I'm not good enough to give an advice to anybody. I think wow. the major thing is to just kind of stick to what they think is best. Because the, the times are changing; it's evolving, and I feel like how we started out is not what it is today. I was told a lot of things. I was yeah, asked to cut down. What is the weirdest advice you got? Weirdest advice. Um, Probably not to wear certain clothes. But you're an RJ. It's called you're radio jockey. I'm not able to see you. Yeah, but they don't What's care. The... I mean, it's it's just about working with a certain kind of people in the company. So, uh, if you are probably wearing something which is modern or western, <laughs> then they do have a problem with that. Oh. I mean, those are the weirdest advices um, that I have received. Uh, trying That's to not, not to wear like, like modern clothes. Yeah, I mean that was one of them. <laughs> Apart from that, I think not to repeat certain things on air because I think back in the days I used to, and I probably still do. God knows that sometimes you're just beating around the bush to kind of, you know, get to the point. Yeah. And that happens sometimes. You just kind of maneuver around and get to the point faster because radio is a limited time, right? You get you have 50 probably 50 minutes to talk or something, right? 50 seconds. 50 seconds. 50 seconds to in in India in usually total, it's 50 you have seconds. 15 minutes, right? Like if you have a show, like oh yeah, yeah, more than that minutes. probably. But like a link, that's what we call, right? A link is a technical term. Is when your jock talk that time is. So your jock talk is ideally in an average two minutes, one and a half. Yeah. yeah. At it like at a stretch. At a stretch. That's. Sick, and you're man. just basically having a conversation to a lot of people, and you don't know, so it's nobody. Do you find it easier, like, uh, to have a co-host with you or oh, yeah, talking I love that. more? Like, what what do you prefer more? Like, I'm a single yourself? jock now. Yeah. But I've also had a co-jock before. Co-jock is fun. I mean, as long as you get along with that person. Okay. It depends. Like, you can be polar apart. Like, you can you can be opposites. You can have completely different opinions or be the same. It doesn't matter. I mean, you're bringing characters on air, right? When you're yeah. basically another person than who I am. Yeah. It's entertaining. Like I have something else to say, you probably will agree to disagree, which is fun on it. Uh, but if you don't have a good, polite, respectful co-jock with you, then you're doomed. Then it could be the worst years of your career, if especially when you happen to do like breakfast show and all of that. Because first of all, you feel like a zombie waking up at four o'clock <laughs> in the morning yeah. and getting to work at five thirty, and then you see this bloody face every single day of your life for like four hours. So you're like, okay, so you just don't. You want to quit? <laughs> You'll write him on your suicide note. Oh That's, my god! Yeah. <laughs> That, <laughs> you do this thing on your uh, like. Uh, on for your followers where you go through some songs while you're on air and uh, you basically sh- uh, share a malayalam song which is already made and the basically the hindi song is ripped hindi off the, i know where this is coming from i see yeah. you i see yeah, the yeah, yeah. i see the research there yeah, yeah, yeah. yes i do big i am a malayali right and yeah. i and i hold that badge with honor 
and I love my roots. I love where I come from, and that's the fact. I mean, I know where I came from, and people when they poached me to a Hindi radio station, they knew the fact that I'm going to take that along with me, and I always do. So whenever I listen to any Bollywood songs, that I feel like, yeah, come on. I heard this in 1995 when I was like three years old, and then they kind of repurpose the same song and they make it look very dinchak with like a Bollywood beat and like make it look like banger and all of that, and I'm just like, hey, shut up. <laughs> Can you name like any five songs that are like ripped off in Bollywood from Malayalam music? So many. Um, for now, I think all the A R Rahman, Ille Raja songs are the ones that you can think about. Yeah. But again, like these musicians are aware that these people are making a remake out of it, uh, yeah, just true. for commercializing it and for capitalizing purpose. So. No one ma- makes new music anymore, right? In yeah, yeah. I think mostly this ban- Tanish Bakchi and um, a lot of these DJs and musicians they do. I think they're running out of creativity or ideas. I don't know what He's that a is. DJ. I recently started <coughs> like, mixing. No, but then DJ is different. But also, like when you sign up for a great freaking Bollywood film and you have a budget of two hundred, three hundred crores, and you still have to rip off music, is sad. <laughs> like you just can't come up with some A B C D, like, bro. Think, like, like something. Like thinking about if my budget is two hundred crores, am I going to be sitting and playing something on the piano, recording it, adding a kick, adding a yeah. drum, blah blah blah, or I can just go up to Pavitra and go like. You know the song that you made in 2001 can I Let's just purchase that back. can I just give you 15 crores and get it back please like that's that's what is happening right? i think it's the labels i think that the labels are behind all of these things and so many labels this is this is a short sure shot hit why because it was a hit back then yeah. uh, we still millennials who are listening to these kind of music so we know it's it's all our fault i feel like we <laughs> give them the hits we give them the views so they know they can bring it back and still make it Uh, I feel like like number one. I feel this is a wave that happens like every ten years or twenty years, where like let's say I'm a kid, okay. During my kid time, me koi gana bahot pasand aagya tha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now suddenly when I grow up, I'm like, holy fuck, I want to listen to this song again, but Correct. in a new way. Yeah. So yeah. there's always that gap of like ten, fifteen years where you'll see these remakes coming up again. This happened. The wave came like maybe ten years, twelve years ago as well. Yeah, I think the same happened. thing is happening in like, English. Like Sajna hai, mujhe Sajna ke liye is made like freaking fifty times, bro. <laughs> हर दस साल बनता है वो गाना आई मीन दैट्स व्हाट सैड बट यू कांट रियली डू एनीथिंग अबाउट इट आई थिंक लाइक इट्स अ रेसिपी दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क्स यस ओके वी हैव वन मोर गेम फॉर यू ओह नाइस ओके सो यू गोना रीड द सिंगर्स विदाउट नोइंग हुज नेक्स्ट ओह कैन आई कैन आई रीड द सिंगर्स ओह या व्हाई डोंट यू व्हाई वोंट यू टेल मी लाइक ऑल द सिंगर्स विल बी फेयर फॉर यू टू रीड दैट इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट सपोज्ड टू बी फेयर इट्स नॉट सपोज्ड टू बी दैट देयर इज नथिंग फेयर हियर सेम ओके आई विल वेट फॉर द नेम्स ओके But we're not going to give you a chance to rearrange this time. So just say the number. Okay. Okay. okay no cool. explanation. No nothing. Okay. Cool. Straight to the point. I will. Yeah. Ronak is leading this one. Okay. Yeah, first I think one. it's going to be some dinchak puja, and all you guys are going to give me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Farmil Khan. Farmil Khan. Oh, he's sweet. As a singer, I would rate him a number two. Yeah. Number two. Hmm. Just for his heart, like I, such a nice guy. He's so sweet, right? He's really this sweet. Guy. He's very humble. Okay. He's very sweet. Next one. Maryam, Kisat. Maryam, Kisat. Maryam. Oh, oh my baby. Sorry, Maryam. She's a number one for me. Number, one. number one. Yeah. Number one. Okay. She just knows. I mean, these are all people I'm closely associated with, and Maryam is is someone who encourages everybody around her to do amazing things, and I feel like she just knows the recipe. She knows the freaking sauce. And that's what gets her to number one. You, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be. Bro, you don't have her. to be the greatest yeah. singer in town to be super famous. True. Maybe it's your personality. Maybe you just know the recipe to get there. And I think she's she's kind of. She's an all-rounder. Look at her, man. Like she dances, she sings, she creates like content with like X Y Z A B C A A B B. I love her. 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 I love Tarun, like our Tarun. Yes, your Tarun. As a singer. Yeah. yeah. Five. Okay. Five. He's not a singer. He's a shyri. Kya yeah, bolte yeah. usko? Shyer. For the voice. For the voice. Oh, he has a great baritone. I mean, for the voice, number one for sure. They can't put Maria and Tarun at one. So we can share. I Wait, mean, for the voice, yeah. Me I mean, sharing me. No, but you said singer, so number five. Okay, chalo, five, 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 five. Is five. five yeah. Okay, next one, you. Me. Hmm. Hmm. Four. Four. Why are you leaving three? Like three be? Yeah, what happened? Last one. Now I don't rate you. It's someone else's fault. But then after rating you, 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 after
Why? Why I, sorry? How, I don't personally know him, right? And now these That's not the point. Who... Like as like talent. Like yeah. anyway. Yeah. So Mariam bro, congratulations. Farmil, congratulations. You guys are better than Arjit Singh. Wow, congrats nice. to you guys. <laughs> This award goes to you. People are gonna kill me after this episode. <laughs> what are you guys doing to me? Wow. Damn. Oh, yeah, but it was fun. Bro. It was okay. fun. Yeah. I mean, this is this is what we do. We say controversial things. Yeah, exactly. Like, things. It's just like we sort of had you there <laughs> yeah. when you left. Yeah, my little bit of engagement, bada do. My algorithm, bada do. Hate is it? I mean, I mean, there's no we bad PR. Everything is good PR. Yeah. Okay, what's one phrase that you like to say in general that you just can't say on air? Ah, oh, yeah. would you beep it if I say it now? Um, no, why? You want me to beep it? I can beep. Yeah, please. कर देंगे. मैं मैं नहीं देती दे थी ना गाली गलोच. Okay, okay. So there there are songs in Hindi that has like these words, cuss words in Malayalam, and that one Whoa. of them is that my re. My re. My re. My re. My re. So whenever, whenever the song plays, I burst out laughing because this is one of those moments for a Malayali when they're in a Bollywood radio station listening to My Re, My Re. So that's one of them. Another one is um, there is this word. आप लोग bolt को क्या बोलते हो हिंदी? Bolt. मतलब ये ये लगाना. Keel. नहीं. So there's a word called kundi. 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 Lock. 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 Yeah. So so there is a song. Yeah. So there is is a a song. song in Hindi that goes like Kundi mat khadka ho raja si. Kundi mat khadka ho raja si da under a raja. These are songs I would listen to, and I'm just like, oh wow. <laughs> wow, POV. How the, the hell do I say? Up next, Kundi mat khadka ho raja. Sirha under. Dude, they should play that uh, on the Malayalam radio, bro. That oh, we would like, never. <laughs> Not in this part of the world. <laughs> okay, wow. fair enough. So it seems like we've run out of time, but this was uh, like a great laugh. I know. Okay, last the last thing that we need to ask you of well, while the cameras are on. Is, okay. Oh uh, my god. You could, Better be good. If you could tell, give the world like thirty seconds of whatever you would like to say. Oh my god. What would it be? Wait, let me start the timer. Thirty seconds. Uh, Damn! It could, it could this be is like too much be. pressure. World, no, come just... on! This is the last thing, nah. Nah, no, that's what there. world. Just do what you need world. to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. Tell starting? the world. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. Achha, nahi. Donald, bro. Yeah. Watch is. Yeah, started. Started. Yeah, started. Three, two, one. Are you ready? World, just do what you want to do. Just do what you need to do. Let nobody stop you because you know what? It's really not worth it. Wow. Love Short. Second. This is something coming like up. from somebody who is like in their 30s right when you're in your 30s you have a completely different mindset of things and you've done you've been a people pleaser all your life and now i'm just like nice. i don't care nice. i can just own who i am and i think the the art of saying no the art of owning who you are is is living your 30s and i think most of them will agree with this so just go out there live your life let nobody tell you what you need to do and i don't think i'm anybody to give you an advice so I have seen all kinds of challenges, the ups and downs, and I just went with the flow. And I think I'm happy where I am. Check it's point. a good place. Checkpoint. Thirty seconds are done. Yeah. That, that was for you. World. That was really that was good. for you. That was world. You that was for you, the world. So thank you. And on that special note of the world message, I would yeah. like to thank R J Pavitra Menon. Hey, thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what. Why, why do the RJs? Like, are they late I for their shows? I knew you were going to say. You know what? Yeah. Honestly, are they so, late for their shows? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, there are times, which is then, why you need to have producers to help you with that, and then they'll wow. be like, they'll cover up for you sometimes. Oh, no, no, it never happens. Never happens. <laughs> my boss is watching this, bro. I'm wow, waiting I'm so for glad. my increment. Don't do this at okay, this time. She came on time, but then we started late. Before time. Okay. okay, now I'm pushing. On time is late. That's what Ronak <laughs> says. That's been what's the vibe, But guys. But thank you guys. It was such a pleasure to like talk to you guys. Have such fun. God, I was about to say kids. Kids? No, uh, we're like there. Kids. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Twenty nine. Thirty. Millennials. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, great. I I had a lot of fun, and I wish we had more time to talk about it. So next episode, yeah. yay! Yay! What's the vibe, guys? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow, that was so creepy. What the <laughs> f did you just do, bro? Uh,